Hi there, James here. Thanks for joining me for this video. We're going to look in detail at the differences between macOS Sonoma and macOS Ventura so that if you haven't upgraded yet, you can decide more easily whether it's worth it for you. macOS Sonoma is the latest, and some would say greatest version of macOS. Launched in 2023, it has lots of new features and improvements compared with the last version of macOS Ventura. Before we get to those, though, the most important question to ask before you decide to upgrade to Sonoma is, is my Mac compatible with it? Helpfully, with every new version of macOS, Apple lists all the Macs that are compatible with it. If your Mac fits a category on that list, you're good to go. If not, then it's unlikely you'll be able to install or run Sonoma, and if you could, it'd be very slow. The good news is that there are very few Macs that could run Ventura and aren't able to run Sonoma. So if you're running Ventura at the moment, you'll probably be able to install Sonoma. Before we get into the main differences between Sonoma and Ventura, if you're going to upgrade, there's a couple things you should do first. The most important thing is to back up your Mac. It's great to use Time Machine for that, because if something goes wrong or you decide Sonoma's not for you and you want to go back to Ventura, it's very easy to restore from a Time Machine backup. The next most important thing is to optimize your Mac. Clear out the junk files and make space for Sonoma. Repair disk permissions, thin out Time Machine snapshots, re-index Spotlight, and free up RAM. Doing all of that will give your Mac the best chance of running Sonoma smoothly and quickly. The easiest way to do all of that is to use Clean My Mac X. It has modules for cleaning out junk files and for running all those tasks to optimize your Mac. Use it regularly and your Mac will keep running smoothly. Best of all, it's free to download, so use the link in the description and try it for yourself. Sonoma versus Ventura. So what are the main differences between Sonoma and Ventura? Well, believe it or not, the first thing Apple highlighted when it launched Sonoma was screensavers. These are slow motion aerial videos of landmarks like Hong Kong Harbor, Monument Valley, and of course, the Sonoma Vineyards in California. The screensavers show you a fly through of the landmarks until you log in, and then the screensaver freezes and becomes your desktop background. Widgets. Do you use widgets on your Mac? They're really handy for keeping track of reminders, calendar entries, and the weather, as well as information from your favorite apps. In Sonoma, you can interact with the widgets, so you can play or pause a podcast or switch lights on or off in the home app, and you can view widgets from your iPhone even if you don't have the app on your Mac. Safari. If you use Safari for both work and personal stuff, you'll love the new profiles. You've been able to create different profiles in Chrome for a while, but now you can do it in Safari. So you could have one profile for work and one for personal things, or you could create different profiles for different projects. Doing that allows you to keep your bookmarks, history, and tab groups separate, and you can switch between profiles easily. The other big difference between Safari and Ventura and Safari and Sonoma is web apps. You can create an app from any website you visit regularly and keep the app in the dock. That way, when you want to go to the site, you don't have to launch Safari first, you just click the app in the dock. The Video Conferencing Mac OS Ventura introduced a feature that allowed you to use your iPhone as a webcam with your Mac, and Sonoma added more video conferencing features. You can now use Pan and Zoom to control how your iPhone shows you in a call. But the coolest new feature is the ability to overlay the image from your webcam when you share your screen. You can have a large image and walk around the screen, maybe pointing to things on the screen you're sharing, or you can just appear in a small bubble over the shared screen. If that's the coolest, the most fun new feature is reactions. These are a bit like fireworks or confetti in messages. In this case, when you make a gesture with your arms in a video call, animated confetti, fireworks, or hearts appear to everyone on the call. There are a whole bunch of other changes from Ventura to Sonoma. In Messages, you can filter searches to find the message you want more quickly, and a new button allows you to go directly to the first unread message in a conversation. Mail now automatically puts email messages related to a trip, like a booking confirmation, at the top of search results as the date of the trip gets near. In Notes, you can now link one note to another, or jump from notes to pages, and keep working on the note by turning it into a pages document. And Reminders now sorts your grocery lists into categories. Sonoma may not be as big of an upgrade as some recent versions of macOS have been, but there's plenty in it to get excited about. 
Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to make sure you don't miss the next one, hit the subscribe button.